Hi guys, I'm AK JMF. Welcome to my garage. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I installed a reverse back camera on my car. Where, as you can see, on my working table, I have this this box. I ordered this from eBay. Let's open it and see what's inside it. The box open, you have this um, this wire. It's a black and red wire. Uh, the red ones are short, whilst the black one is very long. There you have an additional black and red wires. And uh, these ones are very short over right here. Then you have the main dish, the frame, the frame that fit um, mostly any standard European lenses plates. Over right here is an incorporated camera with a four IR LED for night vision. It's a waterproof. Don't have to worry about um, using it in any kind of any type of weather condition. Question you have these two cables. Now let's move to the car and I'm going to show you the process I face uh, the process of how to install it. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoy it. Let's do it. We connected the video cable, the long cable uh, to the car stereo and the little red wire was connected to the rear camera of the stereo. Then we ran the cable through the port underneath where I'm pointing my finger all the way to the back of the car. Here my big brother is removing the bumper to go and install the reverse camera. The long cable fed through the pod came out over here. Inside the garage we have the bumper and we are about to remove the old reverse camera and install the new one. Once removed, I clean it up uh, the dirt on the surface and to help install the new one properly. We pass the cables of the new reverse back camera frame through the already made hole at the center of the bumper. After that, we fit the lance's plate to the frame. and proceeded tightening it down with four pointed bolts. When we finished, we took the bumper back to the car and we connected the cables of the reverse camera frame to the stereo yellow 
and the reverse light red. However, the red wire of the yellow video feed cable was attached to the black of the reverse light for positive power. I'm trying to show you in this picture. Here, Bro is making the connection of the black cable to the reverse light. He welded it and isolated the wires with an electrical tape for proper and secure connection. I almost forgot he added some zip ties to close the deal. He went on to secure the connection of the reverse camera cables with an electrical tape to complete his marvelous job. My advice is try to secure connections this way because on the road, potholes and vibration will make them come off and the reverse camera won't work properly. So try your best to do what my brother is doing. Lastly, make sure to connect all the other lights before you put the bumper back on the car. Then finally, we test the reverse camera by putting the gear in reverse. The fore lead of the camera is on and it means it's working very well. Inside the car, on the screen of the stereo shows the rear view and you can see my bro over there, congratulations bro, we did a great job. Well guys, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, see you next time, bye.